This week, a lot of the attention has been focused on Amazon and its Kindle Fire tablet. But let's not forget there's another tablet coming out, this one coming from Barnes & Noble. At $249, the Nook tablet has a lot of great features going for it, but it also falls short in some areas where Apple and Amazon excel. The Nook tablet is about 10% lighter than the previous version and has 11 and a half hours of battery life with Wi-Fi off. That's about three hours more than what the Nook Color offered, and overall, really great for a tablet. Inside, it's got a faster processor and more storage than previous versions of the Nook. Those tweaks make for a serious speed boost that makes the whole experience of using the tablet faster than its predecessor, the Nook Color, and even at times snappier than Amazon's Kindle Fire. Added storage on the device gives you more space for eBooks and other media. And with apps like Netflix and Hulu Plus, Pandora and Rhapsody, it's easy to see Barnes & Noble making the Nook into more of a multimedia experience. So, take this down. But despite apps like Netflix and Hulu, the Nook lacks the multimedia offerings from competitors like Amazon and Apple. Amazon's Kindle Fire and Prime service brings heaps of extras to the table that Barnes & Noble simply can't match. The price is another issue. At $249, the Nook tablet is a bargain compared to Apple's iPad, but it's $50 more than the Fire. Not a huge difference, but it may be enough to sway some cost-conscious consumers. Barnes & Noble CEO William Lynch has been keen to point out that $50 offers you twice the RAM and storage of the Kindle Fire. That may be true, but most people would never notice the difference. In the big picture, the Nook tablet runs a solid number three behind the iPad and Kindle Fire. It's a great device if you're already a Nook user who wants to upgrade. But if you're looking to get your first tablet, think long and hard about what you want to do with it. If you want a cheaper tablet with more multimedia features, pick up a Kindle Fire. But if price is less of an issue and you want a tablet mostly for reading with some multimedia options on the side, the Nook tablet is a good option. Bottom line, the Nook tablet is a good device with a better design than the Kindle Fire. But it's tough out there for Barnes & Noble. In the retail space, it's struggling to stay relevant. And in tablets, it's facing a market dominated by much bigger players.